long as these guys don't come over here, I'm straight. Well, this guy just hit a Yui. Like you said, hold up. Do you fish deeper over there? All right, guys, so we are out here and ready to rock. I've been wanting to do this for like the longest time and just haven't. Really not sure what fish we're gonna catch, but whatever we do catch, we're gonna eat it. Um, anyways, we're just gonna get the yak out here and get started. Alright guys, so I put my GoPro in the water the other day and got hung up on something. Come to find out it was a crab trap someone left out. So I tried to put the GoPro down there so I could get a better look at it. Well, it was hooked up to my phone and the GoPro had no case on. Well, not the waterproof case. So we're out here with my phone right now and sorry for the rocky ride. But figured I'd try to do something instead of nothing, you know? Really nice day out here though. Marcellus on the track. Just we'll start out here for first cast of the day. Good old voodoo shrimp. Never let me down. So we're out here in a little bit deeper water and that's usually where the trout like to stay at around here. So let's see what's going on out here. I might need the glasses on. All the sun. Oh. Fish on, guys. Fish on. If... It's a really nice spotted trout coming in at 18 and a half inches, which is legal size, straight to the stringer. All right, guys. So I'm really hating how I got that trout. I mean, it was a clean hook set and everything, but all the messiness with the camera and with the boat I guess I was really excited that I finally caught a fish and that I was eating today <laughs> but um anyways this next one we're gonna catch it nice and clean and then we're gonna find a spot and we're gonna set up and chill out for a minute all right guys so we got trout hopping out all over the place hitting everything but my line so we got to bring the big boys out Yaga. Watch them all scatter. Right there. What is that? I kind of get nervous. I get nervous when I don't know what things are. All right guys, so I figured while I was out here, I might as well stop on this little oyster bed area and get my stuff out of the yak. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm accompanied by whatever the heck's out there. <laughs> After a hot day, I decided to take a trip through the mangroves. At first, I was a little nervous about it because I didn't want to get lost, but after that, it was the best decision I could have ever made, even though I almost got hit with a tree and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of fish that I really wasn't expecting to see out there, and just the structure of the mangroves themselves was just beautiful, and I felt more intact with nature while I was paddling through there, and it was just awesome. I would definitely recommend you do that if you were thinking about going through them. Just be really careful because it's really easy to get lost out there after I got through the mangroves I came across a super nice spot that was perfect to finish this catch and cook on preparing the fish with my go-to seasonings right here Old Bay and some New Orleans Cajun Thunder Other than just simply being outdoors, this was definitely the best part of the day and I really don't know why I've thrown off the catch and cook for so long. I definitely recommend it if you guys are thinking about doing something like this. But anyways guys, until next time.